in this video I will demonstrate how to uh, compute uh, measures of central tendency and variability in SPSS and also later I'm going to show how to uh, create bar charts uh, for this data set. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, measures of central tendency and variability. I uh, want to start by going to um, by clicking on analyze and then descriptive statistics and then choose uh, frequencies here I already have my variable because I did this before so I'm going to move back to its original place by default uh, all the variables will be listed on the left hand side I'm going to choose push ups push up which is my variable of interest here uh, I'm going to click in the statistics and then here I can choose uh, this, uh, ver uh, the measures of central tendency that I want in this case I want median mode and, me uh, and mean and then uh, measures of variability or dispersion uh, I have checked all these. Um, okay, so I think I am uh, done here. I'm going to click call continue. And then charts, you could eventually create bar charts from here. But uh, in this example, I'm going to actually create histograms. And uh, I also want to show the no, uh, normal curve uh, for that histogram. So I'm going to click continue. And uh, by default, SPSS have this option checked uh, it basically create frequency tables creates frequency tables for me um, I'm gonna uncheck it because I don't want to see the frequency tables in this case I'm gonna click OK and let's take a look at the output generated by SPSS here are all the measures that I have uh, previously uh, checked and ask SPSS to compute for me uh, histogram is created and uh, added as part of my output along with uh, the norm normal curve uh, the for that particular histogram um, okay, I'm going to go back to the data and uh, let's go ahead and show how to create the bar charts I'll, I'll head to graphs legacy dialogues um, I should note here that I am using uh, SPSS 19 if you're using a different version and it might be slightly different uh, uh, when it comes to selecting uh, graphs um, bar chart is the very first one there on the top so I'm gonna click that and then choose simple click define I already had I already have my variables there so I'm gonna move back to the, its original place uh, push up is the variable of interest it's going to go right here so I'm going to move it here gender will move under category axis and then say I want to change the statistic for um, being computed here being uh, analyzed here uh, in this case it's showing me that is going to be mean I could eventually click there this option uh, is now available I click there change statistic and then um, I, c I could eventually change an, uh, a different statistic for me here in this case I will not I will leave as is um, options under options you could uh, check this option over here and uh, you sh you'll be able to see the, the arrow bars on the top of uh, bar charts bar chart uh, let's click continue and uh, click OK that will generate my bar chart with the arrow bars if I want to change uh, anything in, uh, in in this bar bar chart I would uh, double click on the top of it this comes up and uh, here I can change basically everything for example if I want to change the color of uh, the bars for example for boys I will make it blue so I'm going to double click on that particular bar uh, move to uh, fill and border there choose blue for example apply and then let's say I want uh, yellow for girls so double click on uh, that bar and yellow apply so I have two different colors once I'm done I can simply close this close that and that would uh, uh, save my bar chart with different colors now 